Today we're doing an MC Wallace unboxing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, and on this channel we talk about all of my favorite things from cool Amazon finds to handbags, what's in my bag, and more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today I thought it'd be fun to sit down with you and unbox my most recent purchase from MZ Wallace. I am a MZ Wallace fan, as you know, and I'm also a tennis player. And when I saw MZ Wallace release a tennis bag, I thought, I really need a new tennis bag. I'll show you my current tennis bag in a second, and then you'll understand why it was time <laughs> for a new bag. So I ordered this bag last week. It came super fast, just like most MZ Wallace purchases do. And let's take a look at it together because I don't think there are many reviews on YouTube about the tennis bag. So let's take it out here. Of course it comes in this beautiful dust bag like their other bags do. I ordered the, I call it the Wimbledon green. It's like a beautiful Kelly green color. It's actually called grass. <laughs> Very creative. Wow. Let me take all the wrapping off. Now, I do have to say that this tennis bag is a considerably higher price point than my current tennis bag. So let's see if it lives up to the hype. Um, first, let me show you my current tennis bag. This is the one I'm currently using from Wilson. Um, the paint has chipped off of the front of the bag. It's looking really, really rough. It was time for a new bag. So let's take a look at this one. This is my first time seeing this bag in person. When I saw it online, to me, it looked a lot like the large Metro tote with a tennis racket sleeve on the front. So let's see if that is true. Um, let me go ahead and take off some of the wrapping here. With MZ Wallace bags and the price point being a bit higher, it is important to remember that they do have Italian leather details around the bag. For example, all of the zipper pulls are Italian leather. There are feet on the bottom of the bag, also Italian leather. And um, okay, let's see. Okay, let's start with the outside of the bag. Here is the tennis racket sleeve. It has a little snap closure like that. And then it has a zipper that zips all the way around. And let's pop my tennis racket in there and check it out. Let's see if it can hold more than one racket. So let me put my first racket in. And I will say if you're familiar with, um, obviously if you're familiar with tennis rackets, if you play, this head size is 110 square inches, which is larger, it's on the larger side. It's not the largest one available, but it is on the larger side. And um, I do notice when I put the racket in, that it puffs out here on the side to accommodate. So let's see if I can put the other one in too. The head size on this one is smaller. I wanna say this is 105, so a bit smaller. Not much, but a bit. Okay, I'm gonna put both of those in there and I'm gonna zip it and snap it. Both of those fit in totally, completely fine. You have the two handles sticking out here and then if you flip the bag over on this side, you have two zippered deep pockets. And the, this would be a great place to put your can of balls. It'd be a great place to put your um, towel, different things that you wanna maybe get to quickly. Very deep, very um, substantial pockets. So you'll also notice on the front and back of the bag, you also have this little secret slip pocket and that's a great place to put your cell phone. You have the matching one right here on the back. And that is, a, that is a signature of their deluxe style bag. So this is totally reminding me of a large Metro Tote Deluxe just with a tennis racket sleeve on it. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. Okay, as I go to open the bag, I notice even more features on this bag that mimic the deluxe, the large Metro Tote Deluxe. You have two zipper pockets right here on the outside of the, or on the, outside of the bag before you get into the main compartment. So you can unzip these pockets and then you have a completely other pocket there. Look at these big, big pockets. Great place to put a Kindle if you're traveling, if you're going on an away tournament. You can definitely use this bag as an overnight bag and as a tennis bag. Let me show you why. 
I love that it zippers all the way closed. And when we unzip it, let's see what's inside. Oh, interesting. Let me show you. First off, we have the trio of market purses. We have a small one, a medium one, and a large one. We can use these to organize our bag, which is awesome. And you can connect them to the key leash if you would like. Let me take my rackets out really quick. All right, also down here, I have the strap. You can carry this bag as a tote bag, or you can also carry it as a crossbody bag or a shoulder bag. So this is what the strap looks like. You see that leather, um, Italian leather here on the strap, as well as some really pretty silver hardware. I think the silver goes really nice with the, with the grass color. Now let's take a look at the inside because it's actually set up differently and I'm really excited about that. Okay, so first thing, on the inside you have two slip pockets, which is pretty standard, right? And then on the opposite side, you have the leather trimmed zipper pocket and the little card slot right here. Inside the leather trimmed pocket, you get two more little pockets. One, two, and then a big space. Pockets upon pockets upon pockets. Um, but what's cool and different about this bag and handy for a tennis player is inside on e in each corner, there are elastic pockets. So let me kind of hold it open like this. And you can see there's one elastic pocket. And it's not super tight elastic, so it does have some give to it. And then there's another elastic pocket right here on the other side. So you have a massive amount of room inside the bag. And then you have those two elastic pockets and you have the leather trimmed pockets. Wow. This is quite the bag. I would see myself using this as a tennis travel bag. The other thing I love about this bag is that it is super lightweight. I'll put the actual weight and the dimensions of the bag on the screen here, but I think it's gonna be comfortable to toss over my shoulder. The strap drop on this is a little bit shorter than I was expecting. Um, I'll also put that number on the screen too, just so you're aware. Um, it, does fit, uh, it does fit comfortably under my arm, but I think I'll probably more than likely carry it as a crossbody bag or a shoulder bag like this. Let me kind of back the camera up a bit and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm carrying it. All right, so there's a first look at the MZ Wallace tennis bag. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, it most closely resembles a large Metro Tote Deluxe, if you're familiar with that style, just with the tennis sleeve on the front and then these extra zippered exterior pockets, as well as the two elastic interior pockets which are so awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Drop any comments or questions that you might have in the question box down below. And I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.